it's Jen. I hope this video finds you well. I have not been <laughs> here for a while and I'm so sorry for that. Last month was super busy. Lots and lots and lots of work. Uh, sending out happy mail and working on these uh, collage sheets for my Patreon page. And today on this video, I thought I would share a concept, a new journal structure. I mean, it's not new, but um, I'm calling it my emergency journal. <laughs> and um, what that consists of is when you have just too much uh, paperwork or ephemera to journal or file away, um, you can, I have an easy way to take care of that. So I have this bin that I keep uh, random ephemera in, um, things people have sent me and business cards and yeah, just lots of happy mail and leftovers. And uh, I have a lot of, um, I think this stuff I'm gonna use later, that's for like Halloween and stuff. And this was gonna go on my next journal. But yeah, I've, I've already made the journal. So I'm filming this after I made it. So I'm missing a lot of the stuff, but really it's like drawings from my kids and uh, you know, snail mail from my friends and things like that. So if you're running out of time and you're just overwhelmed by all of the paperwork, instead of, um, oh my God, what a mess. <laughs> instead of figuring out like where to put it in your journal and just being overwhelmed by the amount of stuff you have to you know put away i have an option and it's involving these envelopes so if you're new here i experiment with different journal structures because i get crafty adhd every month <laughs> and always want to try something different so I've been making videos about that and collage. And I also have a Patreon where I create art for folks to use in their journals, planners, happy mail, and other crafty things. So before I go into my envelope journal, I'm gonna show you uh, what I came up with this past month. And I'm calling it Moon Magic. And it was inspired by a old black and white movie called A Trip to the Moon. And it's classified as one of the earliest known sci-fi movies. I did a lot of like research on Pinterest to find uh, other things like in surreal art that I like. And um, just put together like a pocket of pictures that inspired me and some facts about the movie. And basically created a bunch of individual icons uh, out of hand-painted paper collage and I took way too long I like made too many things <laughs> I made too many things and so it took a long time to remove the backgrounds of all my icons and so like I had like two weeks left of the month and I had to send out happy mail and I made a zine for that and I had to work on collage sheets. So I really overextended myself and I'm actually like sadly burnt out right now. And it's like, has like a little bit of depression attached with that. So, <laughs> wow. So anyway, this one's a really good collection and I've been getting a lot of compliments on this. Um, this month I'm taking it easy. But yeah, I've been doing this since April. So I have a lot of goodies and um, digitals um, for you available to print and I have spring things for those that are in like spring season now I already have some spring and summer things available if you want to print those out but uh, here's the it is kind of became a narrative and instead of an astronomer I my character is an older witch lady and she wants to invite the men down to earth um, to have fun. So she has her like little flying saucer that's really cute and it has a flower attached to it. I see some white pieces on here. I hope that's not part of the actual file. I hope that's with my paper and my ink. <laughs> But um, here's the moon kind of gazing at her, excited to see what she has to say. And then I kind of created what I thought would be um, 
on the moon, what it would look like. And this kind of is inspired by the movie a lot because on the movie there was like these large mushrooms and like odd plants and boulders and things like that on the moon. So I made my own version of these things. Um, yeah, and then put like, um, oh, and the, the thought with this is it can be like a page border. Um, you can make it into a pocket, like gluing around here and tucking things in it. Uh, or you can just decorate it, page borders. So you could print this a couple times and do this, like make it really long. Um, so then the next part is the moon has arrived down to earth. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I also, uh, she left from a pumpkin patch and I made like collaged vines and uh, little pumpkins. So that's like a little nod to like fall and Halloween coming up. So when the moon arrives down to earth, he is, he brings his magic and he brings all of the pumpkins to life. And some of the pumpkins have transformed into ghosts and there's some moths and flowers around it. So like the pumpkin patch is gone and they come to life and the moon brought some um, alien friends down to the party. And I did some extra shading under their feet in, in the ghost shadows, and, but I put the wrong one on this <laughs> pack, but I did add it as an individual image on my Patreon. So you can find the one that has like the shadowing underneath. Um, and for her, she is an alien and she has, um, I made like a little wand for her. Uh, this was inspired by a really beautiful picture of a vintage woman that had something like this around her head. Um, so I made my own version of that. And then she's got like a little miniature moon banner thing. So they're all celebrating the moon and, and his magic. So this is like a separate journaling card. And you can use this as a cover on your journal. Like if you want to do Halloween or something, or you can use that as a journal card. And yeah, I have a flower here that I made out of collage and I use that to make a pattern. And so I just put it in isolation if you guys wanna uh, cut those out. And this, this little piece could also go, go on the cover of a, a journal. And it's meant to be kind of like an art piece and um, you know, you can cut it out and put it on your wall or something. Uh, the background is really, it came out really dark, but it's like a dark, um, like purple indigo type color. And I used um, like all my collage elements and like created a symmetrical um, design. And then I used Procreate to like add these stars and moons and things. But yeah, all these buds are um, handmade. And I, these leaves, I think I colored yeah, I colored these in. Like I drew and colored the leaves in. These are collaged leaves, collaged buds, and the moths are all handmade. So I really like the mixture of like adding on to the collaged pieces with, you know, Procreate um, stuff. So uh, then we have another page and this is similar. This can be a journal card uh, or you can decorate a cover of a journal, but um, I kind of took this idea from like um, a little bit of like Art Nouveau where they have like the borders and strips with different patterns on them. I really like that idea. I think it's like maximalist style. So I added that. This The mushrooms are uh, with a individual mushroom I made and then all the other details are hand drawn through Procreate. Uh, she's uh, handmade and so are these flowers. Um, they kind of like, the background kind of like makes them disappear a little bit, but I don't know. I still like it. And the, I put some green leaves, hand drawn leaves, and these little stars are hand drawn in the background. And I put like a little, maybe she's like standing on the moon kind of thing and added the two versions of the moon, uh, on another journal card. And that did come out dark on mine. It might not come out dark on yours printer drew these planet, um, icons in the background so this is a cute journaling card um and what was i going to say oh and if this is too big for you if you just want that to be like a pocket or a you know journal card you can shrink your 
the percentage down on the sizing of your stuff. So you could do like 50% uh, and then it would probably make them smaller here. I also do have um, a page of minis sized uh, icons that I created. I don't have everything in there, but if you want to try it out, it's a three. It's at the three dollar tier, and you get a nice page of like really nice images that I made. And they're a smaller version, so you can put them in your planner or Happy Mail. I would love to see like people decorate envelopes like with these, you know, images. I think that'd be really cute. So yeah, you can try it out, uh, try that out too. This is a moth, handmade, but her the eyes and the mouth was done uh, post-digitizing. And this was a pattern I tried to make into a repeat, but it didn't work. So I just used this tile to make a small journaling card. I was just running out of time and just wanted to leave it at that. I might play with that later on. Here is a pattern page I was able to make, and that is out using those um, individual pieces that I use to decorate the moon land landscape. But yeah, these are all hand cut uh, pieces, and I just like repeated them on, uh, stacked them on top of each other. So this could be a journal page. Uh, you can cut this out for collage. You can make an envelope out of it. You can make a journal cover out of it. There's so many different things. You can make journal pockets. You can even add like white lines in between or add more art if you want. Uh, and then I have the individual pieces here. So you can cut them out as fussy cuts and make your own scenes or you can make a card for a friend out of them. And I really think the little uh, pumpkin kid is cute. Um, yeah, so, oh, I had his hat separate, so you can you can cut it out and either put it in his hand or on top of his uh, head. Um, yeah, I added their the light in their eyes uh, afterwards, and yeah, made some of the pumpkins into ghosts. I thought that was a cute idea. And here's the alien girl um, holding her celebratory things, kind of like 4th of July almost. And this is the first thing I made. This was my astronomer witch lady. And she's kind of odd. She's, cause she's like so different from everything else. Uh, cause I happened to put a Fraggle Rock character in my inspiration. So she was the first thing I made. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a small eyes and a big nose, just like the, you know, Muppets. Um, so she's my first character, but I didn't make any more like her. And her eyes are very, very tiny, and she's got like the light moon reflections in there. So I think I might have just should have put like a little white dot in the eye, or just kept it black. But uh, yeah, so she's I have her separate, and uh, Mr. Moon in the two different versions. He just looks different when he's on Earth, and then when he's in the air far away. Um, I have these little pumpkins that you can cut out uh, for fall and Halloween. And this is the first thing I made um, with my flowers and buds. I added the lines um, in Procreate. I, these leaves are handmade. I just repeated them and shrunk them and reversed them around. But this is the first note card I made. And this is, oh, I guess I did that twice, didn't I? <laughs> I'm just realizing that. Um, yeah, forgive me for that. Oh, but anyway, it's a smaller version. So you get two different sizes. Yeah, so I got her and the little pumpkin ghost. <laughs> I think that's cute. And this is the other um, successful pattern I was able to make. And these are all handmade leaves. And the only thing that is in Procreate is these lines on this pink leaf. I just thought that they needed additional detail. So everything else is hand painted and hand cut. So again, you can use it as a journal page or as a journal cover, whatever you think. And lastly, this is my favorite one because I just love the peachy pink um, background. 
and all of these uh, pumpkin leaves. Well, actually this leaf goes with this orange flower. Um, I was inspired by a, a specific flower. Um, I can't remember, I think it's called Naestrum or Niestrum or something like that. But anyway, that's my version of it. And um, it had these kind of cute leaves. And I hand painted and hand cut all those. And just for these, I put like a, I drew the shapes, like the asterisk lines in them. And they're in two different positions. Here he's got the hat on and they're holding hands and dancing and their kid is sitting down. And then here they're turned away from each other and he tipped his hat here. So I love it. Yeah. So that's my collection for this past month. And um, for this month, I'm experimenting and exploring with um, collage. Uh, collage art pieces. So I'm experimenting with different color palettes because I do realize that people um, that are part of my Patreon are from different parts of the world. And a lot of them are in Australia and New Zealand and they're going through their spring season right now. So I don't want, things have been like off, like I've done summer related stuff and then they haven't been able to use it because it's winter time. <laughs> So this month I'm taking it easy because I really am burnt out and um, I'm making some pretty art, you know, collage pieces. Uh, they're on my Instagram if you want to check them out. And I'm going to clean those up and those are going to be printable art pieces or printable journaling cards or pockets or journal covers. And I'm going to try to extract different icons out of those pieces and try to make patterns or, you know, little um, icons that you guys can can take out. This is just an example of one of the latest things. I've done a moth and I've done this girl, but she is using fluorescent orange ink and she did not come out this way in the scanner. Um, this orange became like a pink, like a purpley pink. And uh, yeah, this came out much darker, but um, I've worked on her and added a lot more details because I tend to be like maximalist and don't know when to stop. But I'm experimenting with like doing like minimal um, designs because I really do like that look of the playful and the minimal um, details. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have uh, this on the printables, but it's not gonna be this color, unfortunately. But this is the kind of thing I'm, you know, working on. And I will probably try to extract this uh, folk um, flower that I made and like put it in something different, like a journaling card, uh, take it away from the girl's hair. So yeah, I'll try different, different things like that. So I hope you're, you'll be interested and you'll be into that. But I just wanted to show you the materials up close that I used before I do the um, show you the process. I got these envelopes a long time ago because I thought I was going to get back into envelope journaling. And this is an example of an old journal I made out of envelopes and little pieces of scrapbook paper that are cut down to the uh, same size as the envelope. But you can see I decorated the envelopes and then tucked, you know, pictures and uh, notes into the envelopes. Okay, so that. So that brings me to today's project. Um, like I said in the beginning, I was overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that I have and just like can't possibly think how to journal the stuff. So I ended up using these envelopes and decorating the pages, like making spreads, but then also tucking additional things into the um, envelope portions. So if you're interested in these envelopes, um, I would suggest looking up po uh, policy envelopes. You can also search document envelopes. And this, this size is a five by 11 and a half. I think you can also get 12 inches, I believe. Um, I bought a whole bunch of different ones in different colors, but you can see that some of them are different um, sizes. So I don't know what's up with that. I think they get these from like a bunch of different sources. This looks like this would be a five by 11. Um, so yeah, it's from Jam Paper and Envelopes and they have vellum um, envelopes and they have these uh, craft 
bags. So yeah, it's kind of expensive to buy them all, you know, in different colors like that. But just in case you're interested, maybe you can check on Amazon and get white ones, or you can use this technique um, just with regular envelopes, you know, whatever you have. Okay, y'all, it's me, it's voiceover Jen, and I'm gonna walk you through what I do for this portion. I started out with a uh, large drawing paper and I just painted some, you know, messy paint on it. And then I sized it down to the size that would wrap around these document envelopes. And uh, I wanted to add some variety of colors to the front side of the journal, so I'm just kind of collaging different bits onto the front and I'm lining the inside with a piece of scrapbook paper and I love the scrapbook paper so much it looks like Matisse doesn't it and it's by uh, die cuts with a view and I think it's called color yeah color pop and I love it and it's double-sided which is the the best thing about it. I just glued it with some handy dandy fabric tack and made sure that everything was adhered and mushed. I made sure the glue was mushed. And this is kind of self-explanatory, just trimming the edges. And my X-Acto knife is so messy and rusty, I really need to get new blades. <laughs> It'll probably cut like butter, you know, if I get new blades. But yeah, just making sure that glue is mushed down and even and starting to kind of crease the center, but not really exactly like creasing it, just kind of doing a gentle fold to it. And just laying out my envelopes and looking at the order I want to put them in and looking at the colors I want to choose. And of course, just bright, happy colors. And those were too large for um, what I made, you know, with the 12 by 12 scrapbook paper there. So <clears throat> I trimmed them down a little bit and also they weren't all the same size. I think that's why I had to trim them. I think I can't remember. <laughs> I think also my, uh, sketchbook paper that I painted wouldn't, um, fit, you know, the envelopes were too tall for those. So I'm just getting some masking tape and this is what I'm doing to attach them to each other. And I did this probably a couple years ago when I made really, you know, messy junk journals and I made kind of miniature sized ones. I just taped in the signatures or the pages together. Um, uh oh, I think my dog's having a bad dream. He's crying in the background, but yeah, just, connecting uh, each one with a piece of masking tape. And this masking tape is pretty versatile. You can do a lot with it. Um, oh, I think that's, a, is that a dog or a child in the background? Um, yeah, so I'm just using masking tape and I'm not even gonna sew through it. Uh, you can do that. You can uh, find the middle and then sew through the middle of the tape. Your needle will get kind of sticky, so I'd watch out for that. But yeah, I just tape, I just tape, 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 and then tape them into the cover. So I'm, I finally finished it and I'm just taking a look at it 
and I think I'm trying to figure out whether I should stitch it in or tape it and I finally decided I can just tape that into the cover and you can of course cover up that tape you can glue on fabric you can also use fabric instead of the tape uh, by using Fabri-Tac and just attaching the little strip of fabric to each envelope or a paper if you're making a journal like this but yeah this is no so you don't have to know the pamphlet stitch or anything like this so I finally have it done and I'm probably going to be decorating the cover and just yeah here I'm doing a flip through and trimming all that overhanging tape but isn't it cute it's real easy for like a last minute journal and it doesn't take too long to use the, the tape uh, technique at all. And these are especially easy um, if you want to make something quick for your friends. And you can make a quick art journal this way. Okay, so this is what I came up with. And this is the final emergency journal. And I just used a large uh, sketchbook paper that was hand painted a while ago. And yeah, that's what I used. Oh, I have this tie because it was wanting to do alligator mouth. So I used this to tighten it. Um, yeah, so just collaged some things on the cover. This uh, digital here is a freebie I have on my Patreon. So that's linked in my description. It's on public. So you just gotta scroll down and, and find the post that's open. And you have a couple pages of cute collage pieces. And so yeah, I uh, put a piece of scrapbook paper on the back of my painted sketch paper. And this is a no sew journal. So you can see there's no, um, no, no sewing, no thread, nothing like that. So I just use tape for everything. So this is a, the vellum envelope, and I'm not done decorating. I have a lot to add. Like, I really want to stuff this thing with my friends' um, printables from their Patreon pages. Um, but this first page is holding, like, some dried flowers from our neighborhood. And this is a passion flower. It's very alien-like. So that's going to go in there. And... This is leftover from summer. It was some popsicles that we had and I put, it was super hot today. Uh, these are two digitals are from Susie at Susie's Tiny Desk. She'll be linked. And this is like magazine macaron paper and I put summer was all about popsicles and swimming. And this is just a picture of us come, walking back from a uh, restaurant in our town and for, for the summer and then you can see I have stuck additional things in here. So this is really the, why I did this because all of this paperwork from my kids. So you can see it contains different drawings that I wanted to save. Um, yeah, I usually just dump their art in a box, but I'm kind of tired of doing that. I want it to be kind of organized and like chronological, but I put a few notes on there. And yeah, so that, and this was like a leftover menu from Mother's Day or my birthday that I just never journaled and never had a spot for it. So that's one of the big reasons I wanted to do this. And the next page is talking about the first day of school. And I just did not feel like working in my journal for some reason. And I just wanted to get everything down and everything done. And I just put, you know, um, Lydia February and June's journaling card here and one of my back to school printables and just kind of journaled a little bit about that but I used a lot of collage scraps that I had and then some of these decorative papers a friend sent me in happy mail um, yeah and then a pictures of my husband he fell asleep he was so tired from getting the kids ready and he I said you know you're using the kids squish mallow and he's like oh I didn't realize it <laughs> I think that was uh, I think he was lying about that uh, this is a, a cute pencil alien from my digitals from last month uh, for back to school I think that's so cute I love that one and this page um, is talking about Star Trek, how my husband and I are watching the original, um, and it's really good. It's a little sexist, uh, 
is really sexist sometimes, but it's inclusive and, um, you know, surreal and the story is, storytelling is good and the set design is awesome. So I wrote about that a lot. And this is just a collage thing I made a while ago. It's not that great, but I figured it would look good in here. And this is one of the first printables I made. Uh, alien girl in a convertible flying saucer with her cat. And then I did this cat is from last month, I believe. And do I have more stuff? Yeah, I just have more kids stuff stuffed in here. You know, like they do a lot of things on notebook paper, you know, and that gets kind of hard to journal after a while. It's not really like colorful and fun. <laughs> And my daughter loves to draw in pencil and she doesn't like to add color to things. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to tuck that away. Um, my friend Paulina, that she's also a patron. She sent me a really like a lot of happy mail. And so I use this spread to use up a lot of it. And she sent me like a ton of Moomin postcards, which I thought was so sweet. And, um, and these are some things that uh, Crystal uh, sent me. And these are more decorative papers that Paulina made and she sent me like a lot of napkins too. Um, yeah, and I just made this thing that kind of folds out just so I can get as much in here as possible. But that's her original postcard. This is a uh, library card that I made for last month for the school month. And, and then I put a lot more things that she sent me that I can pull out in a couple years. I have her address and I have like napkins, more decorative papers and postcards of her, um, her hometown and uh, more Moomin postcards. So I'm gonna enjoy looking back on those a lot. She sent me a lot of um, Halloween stuff that I have in my um, box to be used up next month and she made a ton of these hand stamped uh, things and sent them to me. I just love them. Um, and this is the last page I worked on. I have one more spread here that I'm gonna work on. Um, I'm gonna, it's gonna be Megan in the Moon and Lydia Happy Mail. I'm gonna put the rest of their stuff on that page. And then this journal and last month's journal will be done, finito, so. Um, this was just about all the work that I put into Patreon last month and um, just how tired I am. And uh, But anyway, I printed out a ton of pictures of everything and needed to put them somewhere. So I printed out a lot of pictures because I didn't really have any like events that happened this month. So that's what I tend to do is print out like projects and things that I worked on. And I think in here I put some scraps from some like uh, test prints of stuff that I made. Um, yeah, so this would be like a test print zine. This is the zine from last month. Now, I might end up ripping these envelopes, but yeah, I don't think there's anything else in there. So I just put these things that have been floating around. So if you have a lot of floaters, like this is, <laughs> This is a good method to use, but yeah, I had these extras and I didn't want to like get rid of it. And so, yeah, and this is to remind me about my last zine. The last zine was pink, it wasn't white. Um, but yeah, I made this cute pattern that people can like trace over and make their own like collaged little paper toy. And I also put provided brads and hand painted collage paper, so. I hope that's fun for guys. So this is it. This is my 911 journal, my emergency journal. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just done with these long envelopes and you can do this with, you know, the long white ones too. And the reason I got this idea, um, I was trying to look up something called like the time capsule journal or something because this was, kind of what I was thinking. I wanted like maybe I can use a box just to put my stuff in like a journal like a floating journal type thing with pages and individual art pieces I've made trinkets that the kids have given me and things that just don't fit in a journal but I happen to come across a, a lady that put together a time capsule jar and she 
got a greeting card and wrote herself a letter and she actually glued pictures inside the greeting card, put it in an envelope and like put it in the jar. She put a few of them in the jar. She put dried flowers, um, just all kinds of little mementos, like a memory jar, you know, like you have a memory box kind of thing. So I thought that was a really neat idea. And so then that's how I kind of came to this conclusion of like the envelopes, like you can write yourself a letter. Um, you can, if you don't feel like journaling about something specific, you can just decorate the envelope and put any associated ephemera in, inside the envelope. So yeah, I'm always trying to find easy and relaxing ways to journal that you know, doesn't make me feel like it's a chore. Um, it was beginning to feel like a chore to me, especially after having like really hard month, you know? So yeah, so that's my 911 journal, emergency journal. And I still have this one, which I don't think I'm gonna work in anymore because like I said, I get ADHD from journaling. Um, but I'm really, I'm proud of it. It was hard to work in because it was the strings. Um, I would suggest using the binders, but um, I'll probably do another flip through of this and maybe I'll do a flip through, but maybe I can, I'll find the energy to keep working in it uh, later on. I just did not feel like, I don't know, I was just way too exhausted. And I pre-decorated my pages, so finding a page that was related to what I wanted to journal was also difficult, you know. So, yeah, so that's it with me. I hope you guys are doing well. And yeah, just hit me up on Instagram or um, let me know your feelings below. What do you, how do you guys handle burnout? What do you do? And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Have a good one and I will see you again soon.